Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Hello and welcome to Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists with me, Diana O'Carroll. This week, how snow might keep the whole world cool. Hi, Naked Scientists. This is Jacob Kemmer from Virginia, USA. I'm currently snowed in right now, and I know that painting rooftops white would help cool cities. I was wondering if plowing snow would cause any global warming or add any additional heat to the earth. So does ploughing snow from the roads have a measurable effect? I'm John King and I work at the British Antarctic Survey in Cambridge. Well, the thing about snow is that it's quite reflective compared to bare ground. A good thick snow cover will reflect back up to 80% or even more of the sunlight that's falling on it whereas bare ground or grassland might only reflect 10 or 20% of the sunlight falling on it, and so the sunlight warms it up considerably. So if you replace that bare ground by snow cover, then a lot of the sunlight that would have heated the ground just gets reflected back into space. So if you remove a snow cover by ploughing it up or sweeping it away or whatever, revealing the bare ground underneath, then the ground is going to absorb a lot more sunlight and will warm up a lot more quickly than if the snow were there. We are having an effect on the reflectivity, the albedo of the planet by changing land use, for instance, cutting down forests and replacing them with grasslands, but that generally has the opposite effect, that forests absorb quite a lot of sunlight, grassland is less reflective. People have suggested that we could partially offset global warming by painting the roofs of all of our buildings white. And I think some calculations have been done that have showed that maybe this would be a good thing, but it wouldn't have a a very large effect because you're only talking about a rather small area of the planet that you'll be uh, changing the reflectivity of. Human action does have a measurable effect on the albedo, that's the reflectivity of the Earth's surface, but only on the huge scale of farming. So ploughing snow, even from long motorways or highways, probably won't make much of a difference globally, but it might make a difference locally. And on the forum, Diver John pointed out the insulating properties of snow, which, as long as it stays on the roof, can help to keep the heat in your house and therefore reduce the energy you have to put in to keeping your home warm. And from a pale, reflective dilemma to a see-through one. This is John Gamble from Louisville, Kentucky, and uh, I've had a burning question in the back of my mind when I went to a scientific meeting of ocular scientists down in Sarasota, Florida. There was this lovely young scientist from Budapest who forgot her bathing suit and put on shorts and a white T-shirt when she went swimming, and she was alarmed and some of us not so alarmed to discover that the t-shirt became virtually transparent as soon as it got wet. But she realized this and she also was smart enough to pull the t-shirt away from her body when she did that. It was no longer transparent and I'm not really sure what the optics involved and why that happens. I'd be very interested if someone could offer an answer. And I bet every man there was very gentlemanly, yeah. What is it that makes clothes become transparent when they get wet? Answers on our forum at thenakedscientist.com forward slash forum. Or email chris at thenakedscientist.com and we might just read out your answers on our question of the week. Question of the week is part of the Naked Scientists podcast and supported by the EPSRC, the Wellcome Trust and UK Fast. Look us up online at nakedscientists.com.